Well, hello everybody, and today I want to talk about, uh, well, a little bit more about the All the Airs books and how we navigate uh, from place to place. Now, of course, we've got um, a map of France. Uh, well, it's a map of Europe with detailed maps of uh, all the various countries. But when you buy the All the Airs books and wholeheartedly recommend them um, what you get is you get you get the book of course and this details strangely enough all the airs um, but you also get a map uh, and I don't know if I can show you this properly let's open it up yeah okay so this is the um, map of the France South and it covers um, well you see this is this is the whole of France here but it covers all this bit and you see it's all color coded so what you get on the main section of the map I'll just fold that down to where we are so what you do is all these little numbers you see on here, these are all the um, the numbers of the air in that section. So, if we look for the see this this section here is the that's the Mediterranean section, which is where we are now in uh, Lubulu. Um, I can't quite see it now. I think we're on. Where are we on 31, aren't we? Yeah. Ah, yes. We're on um, site number 31, which is just there. So that gives you an idea of actually where we are. And the way to... Um, so what we do is we look at where we are currently when we're planning and then choose a position on the map where we want to go to and then we choose what looks like a reasonable place pick a number uh, of an air and we chose 31 um, because that's right on the right on the border um, pretty much uh, it's, a, it's a little way to go but and then what you do is you look up in the book the each page is marked with the um, section so we look up the Mediterranean section and then then you look up the actual number and if I show you here there's the number of the air there and a few more details about it and interesting enough it has a grid reference now when when I bought the uh, sat nav which is the uh, Garmin um, 760 motorhome edition I was uh, under the misapprehension that I couldn't put grid references in because when you go to the um, planning at you know you, you get this up and you say where do you want to go to and you, you then can say well I want to go to an address and of course it allows you to choose the country but then it says at spell a town or enter a, a postcode well I thought that that was all you could do but I got frustrated because we needed to put in the uh, grid references from the all the airs books to actually get direct to because what we did initially was we just put the town in and then hoped that there will be signposts but to get to um, putting in the grid references on here you have to go to the well let's go go back to the start so this is your planning screen and you go to the where to and then you choose categories 
and scroll all the way to the bottom and click on the coordinates and that's how you put them in so you just tap on that put in the the bit that you want to you want to put in put the numbers in and and then once you've done that once you've done the first uh, set of numbers click on the next put the the next set of numbers in and you're done that then takes you it will plan a route for you to uh, exactly where you want to go in terms of a grid reference which is massively useful it's actually more accurate than the postcode um, because postcodes can be a bit weird and they don't really work um, in all countries so the the grid reference of where we are now um, and all <laughs> all due respect to all the airs books um, they put the grid reference on and uh, in in the book somewhere it says the grid reference is a copyright but I don't I don't think they can be because it's like ordnance survey um, stuff so where we are now is uh, grid reference north 42 31.636 I always put an extra zero on there because I've got a place for four um, numbers at the end and then it's east 002 50.229 and I put a zero on the end so and that will bring you directly to um, the sign that says this is the the uh, camping car place uh, 50 yards to the left and that's exactly where we are so the what we found is the all the airs books are really really accurate really reliable and if you've got um, a if you've got a Garmin and I think probably all sat navs will allow you to do this put the grid references in put the grid reference in and it brings you exactly to the right spot which is which is great so that's how we've been navigating around and we've just gone we've gone to the map we've chosen a number I mean you know that the next place uh, we go to which will be tomorrow is 230 miles away um, near I can't remember where it's near. It's about <laughs> it's about eighty miles out of Benicassim. Um so we're making a big leap now, two hundred and two hundred and thirty miles, which will take you know most of the day because we amble along. And then we'll spend a night or two there and then on Friday this week we're going into Benicassim onto Bonterra Park. So we will um, use the grid references again and then on, on our way in a couple of months when we're travelling outside of out, out of Benicassim, out away from Bonterra Park, we'll be using the map again um, from the smaller book. Um, and Wendy's just going to pass me the Ayers book for Spain and Portugal. They're much smaller. Um, that's the... That's the Ayers book for France South. There's another book just exactly the same as that for France North. This, and you'll see the big difference, is the all the Ayers books for Spain and Portugal. Um, and you do get exactly the same sort of thing. There are less, obviously, but you get the same, you get the same type of map. It's a nice big clear easy to see that's what you get and you get that that sort of view right up yeah so there's um that's uh there's barcelona barcelona's there and you can choose if you wanted to go to an air near barcelona say 21 there there's barcelona air 21 is there you then look for 
Um, number 21 in here. Uh, 29, 21, and that's uh, a Vineo. And you can see exactly what it's like. That's Air 21 here, Barcelona. You can read a bit about it there. And it's got the same grid references as well. So these, all the Air books, are stunningly good. Um, and if you haven't got them, get a set. I, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know if you'd need to buy them every year or whether you buy them infrequently or whatever. I think they bring out updated editions um, maybe every year or every couple of years, so it might be might be nice to, to keep them updated. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's how we navigate, and we've been doing quite well since we entered. Well, since we left Folkestone, uh, actually two weeks ago today, we've done uh, about eleven hundred miles. And that's because we've taken a bit of a long trip out to the uh, west coast of France, uh, or the, actually up, up a bit on the north in Cannes, and then down through the Loire Valley and onto Bordeaux, and now um, down across the other side on the eastern side of France near Toulouse and further south. We've done a lot of miles, but it's all been super super easy and we haven't really had well we haven't had any issues with the uh, yellow jacket protesters in fact one group stopped us knocked on these two um <laughs> men sort of marched up to the passenger side window knocked on the window you know wendy wound it down and they said oh <laughs> you know in, the, in their french would you like a cake? <laughs> and they gave us two little sort of Madeleine cakes, uh, which was really sweet of them. So, <laughs> um, you know, they're, they're just protesting to get the taxes down and, so, you know, something maybe we should all do. But we've not had any issues with that, um, maybe because we haven't been in the centre of Paris and so on. We've come over, uh, because we're five tonnes, we've hit a couple of... Um, places where we haven't been able to go because the weight limit is three and a half tons we have to take a diversion and we've hit quite a number of um route diversions where the road is um blocked uh because of road works and stuff and i think that is just um the general way that the french maintain their roads they just shut it make it good and that's why that <laughs> well every road we've been on has been smooth and level and a joy to drive on so that's it we're really enjoying ourselves and uh, we're within a stone's throw of Bonterra Park now and uh, you know, we're really looking forward to getting parked up and exploring a bit more of Spain we're going to see you again soon I hope you've enjoyed this if you have give us a thumbs up and don't forget, if you want to follow our journey as we travel around the UK and Europe, living full time in our motorhome, why not subscribe? And if you don't want to miss any of our videos, click the bell icon and we'll send you a reminder. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.